Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the appearance of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, so we have a group that is collaborating, trying to figure out how they can stop two people from meeting. Uh, this will be a queen of cups and a queen of king of cups um, that are destined to meet, or maybe this man wants to meet with this woman. Maybe he wants to work for her, with her. I don't know what this is. Um, but they are supposed to be meeting, and there are people within either his family, uh, the institution he works for, I don't know what his relationship is with this group, uh, but this is an institution or a group of people uh, coming up with a plan on how they can sabotage two people from meeting, block two people from meeting because they don't want them working together. There could be another King of Cups behind the scenes that is trying to hold on to something that does not belong to him, trying to keep something, trying to control something, and it's going to lead to disappointment for him. This is someone who is a narcissist. This could be someone from your past that is trying to hold on to something or hold on to you. Or this could be a King of Cups from this man's past um, that is trying to keep him stuck in some type of karmic situation. It's like they want him to stay in some type of toxic relationship um, so he does not come towards you to work with you, give you some type of offer, whatever this is. Um, it could be a couple also that's going through some type of tumultuous experience where they're coming to an end. Maybe they've been working together to block two people or to block something from being given to someone. Maybe they're trying to block a king of swords from taking some type of action. If you are a king of swords within a community trying to balance the situation out, you need to throw out with caution because there's something that's been plotting that's being plotted against you for the fall i believe because i've been seeing that car out a lot if you are planning on doing something they are setting a, a situation up where it'll sabotage you where you won't be able to move on or you won't be able to connect with whoever you are trying to connect with so there's a plan to sabotage you so that you don't make some type of move you are move you are planning to make um, if you have decided to go ahead and do something pretty practical about a situation because you could be someone that's in the upright the friend group or the institution you are in a house a business whatever it is uh, they have people in there that are planning on uh sabotaging you taking you down they don't want you meeting with someone whatever this is okay and it's not everybody um i think there is some type of change going on within this institution people are starting to see things a little more clearer now and they're trying, starting to maybe turn a new leaf maybe people are being a little bit more hopeful when it comes to how they view life or how they are viewing a specific situation um, but then you have another group of people that are still determined to block or stop two people from coming together you could be the king of swords that's trying to meet with a queen of cups yeah you are the queen, king of swords trying to meet you're trying to go some type of journey uh, to meet with a queen of cups maybe to balance the situation out and it has like a high priestess that's worried within this institution the high priestess could be like a queen of swords reverse that's going through some type of tower that she's in denial about there's something that's been exposed about this woman that she's refusing to accept it's like knowing that, that the building is on fire but pretending like the building is not on fire there goes there she goes been working with a queen of wands with some type of plan on how to sabotage a relationship or two people coming together to build some type of abundance or having options when it comes to the directions or the path they can take right in creating a ten of pentacles they want to keep you trapped in some type of friend dynamic that is going nowhere it ain't going nowhere wherever you are with these people it's not going anywhere some type of, I don't know if you're in a contract with them, collaboration with them, agreement with them. If you are in some type of relationship with one of them, I'm being told that that is coming to an end. Um, the Leo card, the strength card has been coming out a lot. 
there's a queen of wands that you maybe have your eyes on that you want to work with and someone is extremely tough this is like a tough cookie um and i think a whole institution may have came together trying to destroy one person but someone keeps moving forward it's like they've been trying to cause a lot of mayhem for someone so that they are distracted and they don't have the opportunity or the chance to focus on what it is that they're supposed to be doing so for example since i do tarot maybe there will be people trying to distract me with other uh matters other responsibilities or just something that really is not important so that i don't have the time to focus on my my uh divination practice right so it's something like that where either they're trying to distract you so you're not focusing on what it is you need to focus on or they're trying to distract the queen of cups you're going to wars so that they're not focused on what it is that they need to be focused on i don't know if there's something that has to do with like a, a position or some type of financial um gift you are trying to give someone whatever it is um there's a woman around you within this institution that does not want you giving to the queen of cups they want to keep that person in some type of heartbreak like they want that person heartbroken i don't think necessarily this queen of cups is heartbroken but there's something where it's that there's a low vibrational energy around you which would be like a queen of wands. I was going to say queen of wands, split the deck, went on the queen of wands. But she's very heartbroken, does not want you settling or balancing something out for another energy. Someone is really just bitter, very angry, insecure. Someone's very like, I don't, this woman energy just makes me feel uncomfortable. And I just, I can't go in depth with her because it's just like her energy it's like having a grown person but there's like a little kid it's like it don't matter if she's like in her 50s her 60s her 40s she acts like a little kid and it's just agitating every time she comes up in my reads i just i i can't do it anymore like someone is really irritating like you ever seen like a kindergartner throwing a fit and i think i've used this analogy before it's like a kindergartner throwing a fit because she's not getting the red crayon that Bobby is using, even though she has the purple crayon that she likes, but she doesn't want Bobby to have that red crayon because Bobby looks happy with the red crayon. Or maybe Bobby drew a picture and the picture looks better than hers or something and she's pissed off about that. So she wants to go and destroy Bobby's picture so that people don't tell Bobby that, that they like his picture. It's some type of immature behavior, some type of immature mindset that this woman has and it's just really agitating for, I can't do it. I'm going to leave her where she is. Like someone, I said I want to leave her where she is with the deck and apparently she wants to take some type of action to cause a tower for someone. You can't really cause, like towers are not something that are supposed to be man-made. Like someone is just reckless. And I think by this time, you know, and the people around her know that as well. Someone is just reckless and emotionally imbalanced. I don't know if she's wanting to represent a company or she's been representing a company. It's, in a, it's an embarrassment that a company has this kind of person representing them to the public. It's embarrassing. I don't know if they don't know about this person's true character and they give her some type of position, but this person is nothing but a thief that pretends to be living in the upright, pretends to be someone that's genuine, nothing but death around her. Listen, this woman is pissing me off. Nothing but death around this woman, okay? This is a common thief. Not creative, not gifted, not skilled, I, I don't I can't I'm so sick of this Jesse Bell's energy I'm so sick of it it's, it has something to do with a position she is afraid of losing a position or some, or a position going to someone else but the thing is she hasn't done the work to be in that position so whoever the position is supposed to go to they actually have to scale with us starting out with this three of pentacles someone has actually put in the work to be in a position but whoever this queen of wands reverse is does not have the capability does not have the skills nothing not the personality does not have any type of light within her someone who's just dark like an empty vessel walking about the face of the earth but is living in fear like a lot of anxiety a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes about this opportunity being given to someone that has mastered themselves which would make sense because whoever has mastered himself is the person that's going to represent the company in the best way so it's not going to be this queen of wands i don't know what it is it could be something with like color it could be something with her mindset is just not stable it's like someone is very i'm telling you someone is very imbalanced that like she's very angry watching someone move on with their life it's like i've done everything to destroy you 
I knew this opportunity was coming up. You and I will be in competition for it. And I, I took a head start to start destroying you ahead of time so that you wouldn't have even the ability to present yourself with this opportunity. Like I destroy you from all corners. How are you still moving forward? She's angry about that. She's jealous about that. Every time this, like, I don't even get this woman's energy, the insecurity and the just oh my gosh i i don't get how people can be around these kind of energies and just be comfortable with it it's like someone is stalking another woman she's obsessed with another woman she wants to be another woman right she wants people to see her as that other woman but she does not want that other woman to be happy don't want that other woman to be her don't want that other woman thriving don't want that other woman being seen being taken seriously being respected, nothing, being admired. It's like, I want to take on your personality and be you and then eradicate you, get rid of you. Because your very presence, your existence is a threat to my existence is how she sees it. Mind you, you may not even know who this heifer is in the first place. Never met her. Not you. If you met her, you don't know her on a personal level, but someone has been like causing you problems. For no reason no reason at all like you know how cardi b said what was the reason what was the reason sis don't got no reason it's just insecurity and that's all people are seeing now when they see this woman is the it's all insecurity and she's heartbroken about that it says someone has been putting on a facade for years and now that that facade has been dismantled all people see is what an insecure little girl it's so sad and pathetic all they see is an insecure little girl that has been out here doing a little bit too much. Still paying people behind the scenes to destroy someone else's life. Still paying people behind the scenes to block two people from meeting. You see this right here? They're going to meet in divine time and we'll be working together. I don't know what to tell you. There could be a group now that has changed their mindset or they're going through some type of healing or awakening. Maybe they're working uh, together to bring some type of balance into a situation now that they have clarity about who you are, your true energy, because someone has been lying about you for a long time. So yes, they have clarity about you and this is bringing balance into a situation. Some, they see you as very strong and determined. You were left out in the cold out of something. You were supposed to receive some type of communication. And that queen of wands will have made sure that you didn't receive it. Someone does not care what it is that's going on with you. They don't care if you have a sick child. They don't care if you have an illness. They don't care if you're living in poverty, whether you're, you're homeless. They don't care about any of that. They just hate the existence of you. Someone dislikes your ve the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you are confident, the fact that you are you, it pisses her off. And people like that, the best way to even get back at them, if you even care to entertain their insecure, childish, kingdom garden behavior, is to just keep being you. Like I would, like just, just stay you, stay confident, stay positive, keep your mind on positive things, keep your mind on the things that matter to you. You're, you're probably, probably a queen of pentacles. This woman is coming after, and the reason she's coming after you is because you are everything this woman pretends to be. You don't gotta pretend to be it. She has to pretend to be it. And unfortunately for her, the people around her have picked up on that and, and they're seeing her for exactly who she is. This is someone that goes to a practitioner to do work on other people. Has been causing mayhem. This is someone that is into nothing but dark magic manipulation. So she knew that there was some type of position or contract coming towards you. And she probably went in there and edited stuff. Took stuff out. Maybe took your name out. If there was a will for some of you, she took your name out of the will. It had someone audit the will or something like that. If there's a D, she don't had it audited. Just, just doing too much. And I don't even think that this woman knows that she may have gotten herself caught up in some type of court case or something like that. Something is not going in her favor. <clears throat> like someone is in limbo right now. She's still out here trying to sabotage the truth from being coming out. She don't want people having a full perspective of what is going on, what she has been doing. This is like a sneaky link in flesh. Just doing too much behind the scenes, but trying to pretend like her hands are clean. Like you, you know those just psycho sociopathic people that reality is just not something they are able to grasp like she lives in some type of delusional world that she's created for herself that everything she's done has been for a good reason right that she's going to get away with it no one's ever going to find out they already listen listen ma'am ma'am 
I said court case, right? There's some type of court case going on and there's a group of people, whoever was helping this woman, you all are going to need help. You're going to need some type of legal advising because you all may have cut, put yourself into some type of sticky situation by orders of this woman. I don't know if you vouch or took an oath because that's been coming out a lot. Maybe you all took an oath to sabotage two people from meeting, to make sure you did everything, to block two people from meeting. And now everything is coming out and you're like, what the heck do I do? I could lose my job. I could lose this. I could lose that. Why would you partake in something like that? Like, this is a nut case. Someone's mental is not where it's... Someone is mentally unstable. Like, someone could... Someone could even have a child and say, I'm so sorry. My mom is, like, you know, mentally are. Like, someone may end up, like, apologizing to people because of how... <sighs> I don't even know what the word is to use with this woman's mental. It's not stable. Someone like has a mental issue and maybe she's been hiding it from people for a long time. Top of that with the fact that she has a mental issue and then she has some type of bias against other people. She feels that because she's in a specific social class, she's better than other people. Someone like ego is so far like above them it don't even make sense this is the kind of person where their ego is so large that even if they need to talk to you to uh have some type of closure so that they can keep a position she'd rather be fired than to have that conversation with you because her ego like i don't i don't know this kind of hate i i, I don't want to like this is why I, I keep saying like i'm changing my platform because i'm so sick and tired of this negativity like i don't know why this group chose my platform for this nonsense, you got to go. I cannot do you anymore. Listen, I am this close to finishing the, the groundwork for the for what I'm going to be doing. I am so glad because your energies, I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot do it. There's someone upright in this situation that will be balancing this out. Um, This could be like someone in law enforcement. This could be like a PI, police officer, FBI. I don't know who this is. Or this could just be someone of high honor. Someone with integrity, someone maybe loyal to you that you are not aware of. Maybe you're not familiar with this person. Um, but someone will be taking the initiative to balance something out in due timing. And maybe this group is aware of it and they've been collaborating to block you and this person from meeting. But it'll happen when it's supposed to. Um, things will be balanced out for you. You could have a queen of cups in a situation. Maybe she's taking actions to heal or balance something out as well. Maybe people are just... They're tired. Maybe they're tired like myself here. Because at this point, I feel like I'm part of the freaking karmic cycle with these people. Like, I don't even know these folks. And I feel like I'm part of their lives. Because it's just like, what in the world are you all doing? Like, come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Like, they're plotting on taking a temperance energy out. Like, and I think it may be the person that's of high honor that's choosing to bring balance into a situation. Sir, ma'am, whoever you are, thread with caution. They're applauding on you. It's, they're trying to do it when you least expect it. So if I was you, I would distance myself from these people because this is something they've been planning for a long time. They're like, we've told him not to do this. We've done everything to talk him out of it. And since he says he's still going to do it, this is what we're going to do. We're going to teach him a lesson. So if you can... I will separate myself from these people. Like, I don't know if you're stuck with these people because of money or whatever. You may have to forfeit that money and just go on by your way. Your life is more important because some of these people, not all of them, but some of them, they're so far gone and so greedy that they don't value people's lives. They value the materialistic things in life over anything else. Someone does, does, someone does not want to know what it's like to be poor, having to be a, a average Joe or whatever. But that's exactly the cycle they're about to step in because of all the actions they have taken up until this point. And the actions they're about to take as well when it comes to setting you up, trying to take you out, trying to block the truth. Uh, trying to uh, uh, play with your emotions. But you look like you're someone very balanced. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But these people are working. I'm telling you, King of Swords, i tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. They are plotting on stealing from you, sneaking you. They're plotting on you to keep you trapped. They don't want you healing. They don't want you being hopeful. I don't know if you're hoping or wishing to balance something out with this Queen of Cups, giving, them, giving to them or working with them. I don't know what it, whatever this is, but these people are plotting on you. They are plotting on you, okay? 
They're plotting on taking you out. They're plotting on setting you up either to get locked up, but you're being also told that you are protected. This union will come together. It will be successful. You just need to be practical and logical about the situation that you are in. I don't think you have any friends around here. This union coming together is going to lead to some type of heartbreak for the devil. These uh, karmic energies that are around you. Not everybody. I think there are people within this organization that are turning a new leaf and maybe choosing to fix something, looking deeper into something, all right? It could be like the higher ups that are looking into something, um, but you need to be careful. I'm telling you, you need to be careful, okay? There's a queen of cups in here. She may not be doing too well. Someone's plans to sabotage another person. Someone's plan to sabotage a relationship. Someone's plan to sabotage a reunion, a reconciliation, whatever we want to call it. It's not going accordingly. This woman could be sick, having some type of health issue, may want to may want to throw with caution because things could get worse. Like there's some type of, I don't know, disease or whatever she's dealing with. I don't know if she's passing away. I don't know what it is, but she may want to be careful. Like there's something, there's some type of cycle these people have put themselves in that is just, it was unnecessary. It's all I can say about that. It was unnecessary. Uh, she and her partner, I don't know. It could also be like there's something where the, the community, maybe they're fed up with these two. This, these two karmic people is a karmic couple. This king of cups and this queen of cups could be very karmic as well. I'm not talking about the person, you and the person you're supposed to be meeting. But it's a karmic co a couple within a community that people may be fed up with. Something of that nature. But these two refuse it they're refusing to let go of something they want to keep something going they want to keep manipulating they want to keep causing destruction and they don't even know what it is that's ahead of them and i'm going to leave that a secret for them so they can find out okay so they can find out there's something horrendous that's about to happen to a karmic couple within a community and this is all because there's a lesson that they need to learn there's some type of grudge they have in their heart when it comes to other people, it's like they don't want to see other people happy. They don't want to see other people thriving, telling you, okay? But whoever you are supposed to be meeting with is going to be coming into fruition. Someone, uh, I don't know who this other Queen of Cups is, but someone is about to be so sick that they won't even have time to be blocking like a union from taking place or a collaboration from taking place. It is still coming together. Like these people are working really hard to block two people I, I i don't i don't i oh my gosh oh i think I'm, i may shorten that week up <laughs> i may shorten that week up because lord I can't, I can't do it lord i can't do it these people these people i can't do it i cannot i'm telling you i cannot yeah they can't keep a king of wands stuck anymore this man wants to move on i don't think he is i, I don't think this man is karmic i think they're trying to stop this man from moving on these are narcissists that are trying to stop this brother from moving on out of some type of horrendous situation. Like someone wants to be in a genuine connection, whether it's a partnership or some type of relationship, whatever it is. This man is moving on, but they want him to stay stuck in his low vibrational energy when it comes to this relationship. He's not happy. Also, I don't know if this is someone that goes both ways. I don't know about that. With that four of pentacles between him and the king of cups. There's, there could be something like that. Maybe this King of Cups is trying to hold on to this King of Wands and keep him in his lower energy or something like that. It is what it is. Like, if they're happy together, which it doesn't seem like it with that Four of Pentacles out there. Listen, I don't care who you date, who you don't date. Well, straight gay buys or whatever. That's your business. I really don't care. But when someone wants to leave, let them leave. People know what they want in life. So who are you to be trying to block them? It's not that, for, it is not that hard to find another... Uh, alphabet community partner they're everywhere everybody is free to be them these days so go find you another one i don't know what it is about this one that you're just so stuck he wants the man to believe that they're twin flame this man said we're in twin flames whatever we had it is what it is i don't know what the heck this is this is a very karmic relationship maybe someone don't want to be with men anymore i don't know i don't want i don't want to know i don't know why you all picked me for your stories I need you all to get the heck up off my platform, okay? I don't know why you picked me for this nonsense. I don't care who you're dating. I don't care if you're straight, uh, not straight, bent, not bent, curved, not curved. I don't care. Get off up my platform with this nonsense. 
Go figure your, your, your business out, yourselves. Oh, Lord. Why are, you, why are you out here trying to keep someone trapped with you? He don't want to be with you, sir. You got a whole woman over here. Why aren't you happy with her? If you don't want to be with a woman, let her go. Go find you another man. This one don't want to be with you. You see he's in the reverse here. He don't want to be with you. He, don't, I don't know if maybe you even have a crush on him and he don't see you that way. Maybe this brother is into women only. Whatever the situation is. Whatever it is. But he don't want to be with you regardless. Whether it's men or women that he like or both. He don't want to be with you. He feels trapped around you. You're suffocating him. Someone is turned off. You're suffocating someone. What is wrong with you? Like you, you're trying to force someone to see you as your their twin fling, right? You're trying to force someone to see, I don't, listen. What kind of two? What kind of? You got a whole partner here. He got a whole partner there, and you're two in a relationship. What the heck is y'all doing? Do your wives know? You're married. He's married. You're in a relationship. What the heck is going on? What is going on? And the both of them are coming out in the reverse. He and his partner is coming out in the reverse. Are they not together? Lord, I can't. Why Why did these people pick me for this madness? Listen, y'all going to have to start paying me for this nonsense. I can't do it no more. You're going to have to start paying me. You are going to have to start paying me because I can't do this no more. This is just too much, too much. Like Medea said, it's too much. I can't. You all are out here collaborating against an empress for no reason. This woman ain't done nothing to any of you. You're trying to stop some type of offer from coming towards her. She's actually the only one in the up right here. This is probably someone you all could learn from. But your ego. There's something. I don't know what this is. I don't... I, I, I see a lot of cups out here. It has something to do with a relationship. You got a man that's in love with another man that wants to be with a woman. <laughs> the man that's in love with another man is married. The other man is married too. You, you need to figure out your drama. Leave the rest of us out of it. We, we are so tired, folks. We are so tired. We're tired. We are tired. We are tired. This could also be something where it's that you just got a karmic male that's advising another male to stay in a karmic relationship. I I don't know what kind of friendship that is. I can't do it. I'm out of this energy. Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.